Hi, I'm Gabriella, and today I'm going to share how I went from a basic idea to a finished paperback comic. So this is Derailed. It is a 68 page book and I recently got it all ready for print. The pages are all drawn and here's a little sneak peek inside. This is the main character. He has to go to Seagate Village and try and prove himself that he, he can be a good architect to his brothers and his plans end up getting way off course, really derailed, everything goes wrong. <laughs> so if you're interested in reading the comic, you can read it on my website. The link is in the description or you can get your hands on a paperback copy starting April 14th, 2021. So let's talk about how I went just from an idea of what I wanted to make a comic about to actually turning it into a finished product. Uh, I started with a script way back in 2017 called Snow Angel, and although you can see the, the characters' names are the same, and maybe the setting is the same, a lot of it got completely reworked and completely improved. So, yeah, I, I'm still really glad that I had this first draft here. That's kind of what I think of it for the story, because... I was able to take this idea and just rework it and, and make it make it more my own, make it something that I was more passionate, uh, a story that I was more passionate to tell. Yeah, so when I made this back in 2017, I realized, you know what, making a huge, long comic with tons, hundreds and hundreds of panels, I'm like, oh, my drawing skills are not quite there yet. I'm not fast enough yet. So that's where this little mini comic, uh, little zine you could call it, came in. And I did this back in 2017 in the summer and in fall. And basically it's just single illustrations on each page. And by doing this, it helped me learn, okay, what drawing skills am I lacking at? Which ones am I okay at? Uh, so just making something short like this was a way less overwhelming step than jumping into making a huge long comic and yeah even just making a finished book to help me learn a lot about what I needed to do to make a, a full large comic so even when I made this um I was still feeling like my drawing skills weren't that great yet so I did end up doing uh some of the pages starting some of the pages and starting some of the comic uh concept art so like here are the first thumbnails and these were made way back in 2017 and this was just to give me an idea of how to put together a comic page um i had never done any comic pages with all these panels and i had to learn how to do speech bubbles and all that here was the original character designs the final designs ended up as these um yeah i did make in 2018, I made model sheets for the main cast, and I'm so glad I did because these were a huge help to reference back to when I was making the comic pages. Okay, and then here's also from 2017 some color studies because I had really done like barely any backgrounds or coloring um, of backgrounds, so I really had no idea of how to even do that, so I was getting some inspiration here. And this was done, I think, in 2018. It was a, a photo study that I did practicing how to do backgrounds. Because like I'm saying, I really only did character art. And I'm like, if I want to make comics, then I need to learn how to do backgrounds. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about how I went from this first draft to reworking it into what was then called Crossroads. And the title changed a couple times, and that's because... Well, when the story got re reworked, it just, the old title didn't fit. And then when I looked up the title Crossroads, it turned out there was a lot of other comics already with that name. So I eventually went for Derailed, which is a pawn as well on the whole train theme. So here is 
I'll show you. Here's how I scripted uh, the pages here. And yes, this is really tiny. I actually like having font this tiny because I like to have a big overview. This single printed out page shows me um, actual, it plans out eight, eight comic pages here. And I have who's talking, a description of the panel or what the person's doing and what they're actually saying. So what the, what, what words are actually going to show up on the page? What do I actually need to put in the speech bubbles? The other thing I did was collect some photo uh, inspiration for, okay, what is the setting for these scenes? What are the main things I'm going to have to be able to learn how to draw? And I did take note how long these four pages and these four pages took to draw. I think that's what those notes are there. And another thing I did was I highlighted here in the script, okay, which, where, where is the setting? So this helped me keep me really organized. And yeah, I scripted out the entire comic before I started because I wanted to have a firm idea on the ending. Although the ending did get changed a little bit in light of our uh, recent world situation, I had to make the ending a little bit less controversial seeming. Um, but I'm, I'm still glad I had, I had an ending that I was able to just change a little bit. These are the first thumbnails I did. And this is for, I was, I was considering this like a chapter at first, or, 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 or I consider this a scene in my head. Most of the scenes in Derailed last for about four pages. So you'll find, um, two spreads in the book for each, uh, kind of setting or topic that goes on. So here... It's all about Toby going to go visit this old man. And then it changes the next four pages are about something else. So this kind of helped me figure out doing the pacing. And eventually went all digital doing the thumbnails. But it was kind of fun at first doing them on paper. Because it helped me just keep them really small, really fast and quick. And so yeah, in 2018 I had all the model sheets done. I had the script all done. I had started doing the thumbnails. So I did start making the first four pages, but once I started making the first four, there was just, oh my gosh, I had to still learn so much. It was really overwhelming learning to draw all this, all these new things. And I decided, okay, I'm going to set an additional challenge for myself to improve my art and to help me get faster. And that was this giant sketchbook. This is a 600 page sketchbook that for some reason I decided in 2019 I was going to fill it along with working on the comic. Now that didn't really end up happening. I mainly just had to focus all my time working on this giant sketchbook in 2019. But that's okay. It's okay that I took a break from working on the comic because I hadn't started releasing it online yet or anything. I didn't feel pressured to get it out soon or anything like that. And I wanted to take time to do studies of other people's designs, to learn how to draw faces better, to get way faster at things. And I'm so glad that I did this sketchbook. Although it took up a ton of time in 2019, um, doing it, it, it helped me get a lot faster and made drawing, when I went back to drawing the pages again, it made it so much easier. Okay, so towards the end of 2019, I picked it back up and I, I made a huge buffer of pages. I got about um, maybe a chunk about this size right here, 17 pages about a buffer. And then I started posting on Webtoons and Tapastic. And I posted one page every week and I'm, I decided it's okay. I have a huge buffer if I miss a week of drawing a new page, I, I can just use one for my buffer. So then along the way, I decided I'm going to make a website for Derailed. And building a website to host, <laughs> to host your comics is a huge undertaking. And I, I really didn't even get it up until um, the fall after, after a ton of the pages were out. So but it, I'm glad I have it now because I actually have a home now to uh, post and share all the extras for Derailed all in one place. So let's see here. We have an extras page where I post all my extra little animations and holiday drawings and 
concept art and just all this extra stuff that I wanted one place to hold everything together. And I made a cast page on here as well. I have all the characters listed out, little descriptions of them. There's an about page where you can find the trailer and all the info for, for new readers or if you want to share the comic with someone, reviews. And yeah, um, the other thing I did on my website was I started um, thinking towards the future and I decided, okay, I'm going to have a blog as well and a place to house my other illustrations and newer comics I do. So yeah, there's, I also do uh, blogs on here about how, how to make comics and, and advice on drawing. So if you're interested in trying to make a paperback comic, you should check out some of the articles on here I have about comics. Uh, they give you like all the different steps um, all the things that all the things I can't mention in a short little 10 minute video about how to make a comic. Yeah, um, one of the other things I did when making derailed was I had to learn I really don't use social media very much, but I had to learn how to use Twitter and Facebook and Snapchat and just how how to get the word out about the comic, how to make help people find it, how to get it visible online. Um, yeah, and along the way, I ended up uh, finding, meeting all these other creators online as well. And I just, it's an amazing community online on, on the Tapastic forums and in Discord and Instagram and Webtoons. All these creators that I learned new advice from. And yeah, with each page I made, I kind of just looked at other people's comics and watched YouTube videos and listened to podcasts and just kept trying to learn how to make each page even better. So thank you so much for learning about the process for making Derailed. And if you're interested in reading the comic, you can read it on my website. The link is in the description. Or you can get your hands on a paperback copy starting April 14th, 2021. Thanks for watching and leave any of your questions in the comments. And let me know any comics that you're working on. I'd love to check them out.